everyone, this is Anne from Udul Sina Scrap. I am back today with a new series of decorating pages. So I want to fully decorate the pages from my lap book and I thought I could do little videos on each page that I'm decorating and I'm going to create a playlist that will be uh, called Junk Journal Pages and then when we are out of ideas, we can go there and each video will represent a different page decoration. So I'm starting with this one, which is any paper that you would fold into four. In this case, I took the um, teacher contract. It's a, it's a kit that I have. It's all in French. And it's a teacher contract from the beginning of the 90s. And um, it's kind of a, a kit that you can reproduce the document. And of course, this kit is a legal size paper, but you can always uh, print it with a regular size paper, which is in my case, the letter size format. And it just creates a smaller format. You need to put the printer setting to fit to size so and then you just have to trim the um, the white borders that it will create because it's not the perfect fit for a letter size format. But the idea is to take a bigger sheet, fold it into four, add a ribbon. It can be a sari silk, a chiffon silk, just a thread. And then I'm going to just glue a piece of paper that has some interest there. So a little bit smaller than the page, just so I don't glue it to um, a plain page. But you could glue it to the plain page as well. But in this case, I decided to add like a, a fake document. So this document that I'm, um, that I'm trimming right now and the um, teacher's um, contract are both from legal size paper kits that I have. And if you didn't know about those because you're new to my channel, I'm going to put a link in the description below on how I've been printing the legal size paper format with my regular cheap HP printer that doesn't have any tray for legal size paper. So there's a little hack there that you can, I'm pretty sure you can do the same with any printer. So I'll put the link below so you can go have a look. Now that paper is so thin that I decided to glue it just with the glue stick and I'm using the inside of a book that is not good to me and I apply the glue and just to make sure I'm not putting glue on my document every time I change a page. And because it's so thin, look, the uh, result when you fold a little bit the corners and the paper while it's gluing, it's, I know, it's the shabby chic style, I guess. I love that grungy, shabby, folded, nothing straight. And I just apply the glue like that on one of the four sections like that. So the thread or the ribbon will hold it closed, will act like a decoration, and the whole paper will be only glued with the last section of the document, which has been folded four times. So you open it like that. And of course you can have places for journaling. Now, to hide the bump of my chiffon silk, I'm going to use one of my um, pictures from Lily Hel Elsie. I love that actress. And uh, of course, her pictures are not copyright anymore. So that's why she's so popular in the junk, jur junk journal world. Um, you can buy tons of kits where you have pictures of her everywhere. In this case, the page that you just saw is a kit that I created 
which is my personal Lily Elsie's collection. So there's tons and only the cutest to my own opinion. I had more than that, but I just picked my, my favorite. So if you love her and you don't have any uh, yet, you can you might be interested with my my kit. I'll put the link in the description below in case. But I'm going to use the picture to hide the little bump. And it creates kind of a little detail. I glued it a little bit not straight. So yeah, it will give a little detail too on the page. As we can see that something there is hiding. And here you go. That's one page idea, really simple to do. And depending on which paper you use, uh, you can have so many different styles there. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video for with that series to give you more inspiration to decorate your journal pages. Bye bye.